Hey everyone, my name is Artindi and this is I've Got You Back, it's the third one and this uh, response is a long time coming because I had a newborn recently and so I've been, um, you know, priorities, see, but new babies take priority over new videos. So um, this question comes from Mathis, he was wanting to see a tutorial on how to have your character die when it collides with an enemy, so he's just wanting to see collision and I have a really simple example here where when I collide the blue square turns yellow. Uh, that I guess means death, but let me kind of show you how I've done that. So I've set up a really simple um, world, just like I said, just two squares, blue and red, and uh, all it does is move right and when it collides it dies. But I don't uh, do the way that I think normal collision occurs, so there is a way to detect when collision boxes touch other collision boxes but it takes many lines of code and to me it's rather frustrating. It might uh, work better in the long run, but uh, the way that I like to do it is actually using area 2D nodes. So let me show you how to do that. So you have your, your kinematic body, you're just your main uh, player. It's got its sprite and its collision shape. So this is standard things that you'd probably have in uh, any player uh, character that you have, sprite and asset and all that. So the thing that I've added is an area 2D node and its own collision shape. So the area 2D node has to have its own collision shape. And in this case, I made the collision shape just barely larger than the collision shape of the character. So it's just, I think it's like a quarter of a pixel larger. Um, and the enemy also has a area 2D node and a collision shape which if we look at it is also barely larger than its uh, its character's collision shape and you need to have this happen so that way the area 2D node collision boxes um, can pass through each other before the actual collision box um, stops you from moving so your your main collision box is going to be what keeps you from going through walls and through floors and whatever else that you might have where the area 2D node collision box is going to be there to detect certain things and trigger events. So the way that you have to do this is in your area 2D node, you, well, first of all, in your enemy, no, actually, let's do this. First of all, in your area 2D node, you have to go to this node tab right here. And this these are called signals, which you can attach to uh, bits of code that you have. So I have some code on the kinematic body to allow it to move and uh, as well as any other um, player driven events that you need to control. So here are these signals um, and here's an area entered one so that way when another 2D area 2D node enters this area 2D node then it will trigger an event in the code. And the way you hook this up is you just double click um, the one that you want, you can do entered, exited, but you double click that and then you click on the node that you want to add your bit of code to and hit connect. You already have to have code in there for it to work, so create your page of code first and then do this. And what that will do is when you come to your code, it will plop in this, well, a function like this. In this case, it's this function. It has the name of the area 2D node and it just plops this function in with a pass on the end. And I've added this bit here. Before I explain that, I'll explain everything else. So here's the movement part of the code. Like I said, really simple. All it does is let me move right, just for the example. And then I have a die function, which turns the square yellow. Um, so I've added this bit of code where if bad is in the area, well, the, the name of the area 2D node that entered the player's area 2D node, then die. And so I've named this the enemy's area 2D node bad, and you can name it whatever you want. You can name it enemy or, or deadly. In the game that I'm making, I've named them deadly, so that way anything that I want to kill the player, I can just name the, its area 2D node um, deadly, and then any time the player's collision shape is, ha excuse me, any time the, the player area 2D node's collision shape has another collision shape enter it from an area 2D node, with the name bad or deadly or whatever else it is, then an event will occur. And so this is really all you need, just these lines of code. And again, this is generated from connecting a signal from the area 2D node to your code. So hopefully this 
tutorial, well it's not really a tutorial, hopefully this uh, explanation, semi-tutorial will will help you out and maybe help other people out. If you have any further questions, go ahead and put them down. And if anybody has any other questions uh, regarding Godot, I might not have all the answers, but I can give you at least a suggestion. And this is the suggestion in this case. So hopefully this helps. Thank you so much. Have a good one.